that's too hot to drink anyway hi guys welcome to just a, like a let's chat type thing that i wanted to do for kind of a long time just to say thank you just for hitting 14,000 on my channel we're almost there i feel like putting stuff on tiktok definitely helped boost a lot um obviously the god of war is gaining a lot of traction uh if you don't know i do have a tiktok i post like shorts there that i do usually post on youtube as well but not always because youtube is a bit complicated you have to post them under a minute and sometimes i go over it and then they're not recognized as shorts and it's a whole complicated situation so i just post most of them more of them on tiktok go follow me there if you haven't followed me um until now i guess also i just wanted a quick update because we're at the end of resident evil 4 remake and at the end of sekiro which honestly i've been enjoying so much and i'm kind of in two minds about going through it again just to fight optional bosses that i didn't get to fight based on the obviously uh different uh, things that i chose right because you have options in sekiro and you go different paths depending on what you choose so um i'm depending on doing that just to see how it all turns out um because one of you guys actually said without spoiling spoiling <laughs> spoil spoiling spoiling is that the word anything you said that um there's actually four endings and i didn't know i literally thought there were maybe two based on obviously the daddy o fight you know father owl what what's his name shinobi owl something um so i i literally thought it's just two paths to take b with Dadio or be with Kuro. Obviously, I chose Kuro because I think it's the noble thing to do, but I'm kind of curious to see four, you know, three other options, ending, optional endings, because um, one of them is a true ending apparently, but it's a bit more complicated to get. So I don't know if you guys want to see that, leave it in comments below. Also, uh, I don't know what to play next. I have a few options and I actually just bought a game, which I'm waiting for it to come in the mail so i don't know when it's gonna come hopefully in time for me to post my next video um i've gotten so many requests to play saints row um it's more so from my gta videos which are doing the best on my channel uh besides the last video of god of war um ragnarok but everybody's just enjoying my gta playthroughs if it's either a five or four or even the third one is doing really well so um i got a lot of requests to play saints row based on that which i am gonna do as i said i bought the first one uh i have to play it on my xbox 360 which i am not a big fan of to be i'm not a big fan of xbox in general just because i'm used to a playstation <laughs> compared you know the, the mechanics are a bit not different but yeah i uh will play it on the xbox 360 that one and then the rest they are actually on um playstation so i have that premium subscription and i literally get like two of them for free because they're included in my subscription thing i think i stream them which i think i need to connect my playstation via the wi-fi because it's no it's on wi-fi and i think i need to connect it directly to the router which isn't uh, an issue but yeah so i'll do that i'll do saints row next hopefully you guys will like it i literally have no idea how saints row is the only time i had kind of an inkling well not kind of a, an inkling i literally tried to get out of hell it's called because you got it for free uh, years and years ago this was on playstation plus so i got it and literally it put me in the middle of nowhere it looked like i was in hell i didn't know what I, what to do i didn't have a concrete storyline so i didn't know how to follow it so i that's why i said i think saints row is not for me but you guys keep saying no it's actually like gta but a bit more fun or i don't even know how you guys explained it but make it a bit more ridiculous maybe uh, than gta even though gta is ridiculous because it's like a pamphlet pamphlet <laughs> It's like a parody, you know, off of like mafia movies and real mafia things. Um, so I don't know how much more funnier it could get, but I guess we shall see. Also, uh, I had uh, an idea given to me by my partner. He said to try Metro series. Don't know if you got. I never played them. I think they're a shooter game, but I just I don't know how well they're gonna do. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. I really want to start doing 
Souls games, but for some reason, I don't know why the YouTube gods don't pick up my Souls games and push them via, you know, to, to, to the people that actually like watching playthroughs of people doing Souls games, so like Sekiro and Bloodborne and so on. Because I wanted to do Demon Souls, I already bought Dark Souls uh, remake or remaster, uh, Dark Souls 2. The only one that I haven't gotten yet is uh, Dark Souls 3, which isn't a problem I could get, but yeah. So I've been going through a lot at the moment um, in terms of personal life as well. As you guys know, I only did YouTube for like three years um, or something like that. For I think we're going on four years now um, just because my son was still a baby and now he is turning five, which is insane. <laughs> but he's starting school in September and I'm looking to get a part time job because honestly, like I don't make any money from YouTube. I'm literally barely make the threshold and that's down to the members so if you want to support my channel please become a member because <laughs> that's how i get paid monthly and the amount is like 60 quid it's not a lot it's like what maybe 70 dollars in dollars us dollars um so i don't get a lot i don't get you know and it goes to groceries and stuff so i definitely need a part-time job and i'm actually training and becoming a nursery teacher which is going to be super cool um because it was actually my grandmother that passed away's um dream uh she wasn't allowed to because i mean this was in the 1940s slash 50s and she had to go somewhere to study and her dad just came back from the second world war she lost her mother her dad had was an amputee basically because of the war and yeah she basically had to stay home to look after her younger sister um so that's why she couldn't go and study so i'm kind of fulfilling both of our dreams that way um i'm really passionate about child psychology in particular just because i find it fascinating how my son is just a sponge of information maybe this is too um you know too much information and if you're a parent you know what i'm talking about but like he literally knows how to work everything you have to show him once and he just gets it and um he's really intelligent as well not to toot his own horn <laughs> or my own horn but um he definitely knows a lot like we're doing continents now we're doing you know he knows how to basically write and he's not even starting started school yet they don't do stuff like this in preschool or nursery kindergarten whatever you want to call it um so it's just by picking up what we do at home and uh yeah i'm not putting any pressure on him that's the thing like he just does it so i'm really interested in that um also it just will work well if i do end up getting a job at my local nursery then um obviously when he has time off from school like half term summer holiday stuff like that, i'm gonna be off so i don't have to hire somebody to you know or pay pay somebody to look after him because it's ex an extortionate amount that you have to pay for childcare. it's literally 10 pounds an hour Maybe I can get it cheaper, but the ones that are near me are 10 pounds an hour and I probably will get 10 pounds an hour. So all my money will go to them <laughs> for that month and it just doesn't make sense. So hopefully this whole nursery thing will work out because I mean, to be fair, I still want to keep going at YouTube. I don't want to quit yet. I'm still enjoying it. It's a hobby for me really at this point. Um, do I think that it's a future potential job i hope but the way things are looking now my channel analytics they're all going down i'm still gaining subscribers and a lot of people are finding my channels and my old gameplay or my new gameplay and stuff like that but i don't seem to be doing as well as other people and i just sorry i just knocked my mic and i just think it's down to my personality <laughs> People don't like me. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they just, I don't know. But the way you can show me that you support me is just by liking the videos, subscribing to my channel, commenting, because it gains a lot of momentum and for YouTube to pick up my videos is what I'm trying to say. Um, and obviously support it by becoming a channel member. I'm still debating on opening my Patreon back up, just purely because I feel like people forget that they're paying for Patreon. If you know what I mean, like I had like three people that were just constantly subscribed for a few months and I haven't been posting anything and I just felt bad. So I just canceled their appointment, their appointments, their subscriptions and just shut down my Patreon. But I do get a more money from Patreon than I do from YouTube in terms of like memberships and subscriptions. You get paid more. 
so I, I kind of like that but I don't know if you guys are interested in supporting me that way or whatever I'm also thinking of starting um, live streaming but the problem is my computer I have a laptop basically it's a really good gaming laptop um, but because it's a laptop it's some sort of problem with the some sort of graphic card like some it has two and it's sometimes go it goes between the two and it doesn't know which one to prioritize and obviously i can't play on my laptop whilst i'm streaming it but i can play on my playstation and stream it through that but i still feel like the quality is not as good as i would like it to be so hopefully in future maybe i'll um buy a pc with the money i have you know from working a part-time job and doing the nursery because i'm a volunteer at the nursery and i'll probably be a volunteer for over a year um just to get qualified so i won't get paid for that which is whatever but at least i'm doing what i want to do in terms of that because i would love to do youtube full-time but i tried it <laughs> and it's really not paying off for me um, I don't know if you guys are youtubers and you're experiencing the same but I spoke to like two other people that are not necessarily in my genre but have different YouTube genres but are at the same level as subscribers as I am and they they just said like YouTube is just pushing shorts and it's not pushing long form content anymore and it's just really killing our channels especially as a small creator um, micro micro creator as some people like to call us um, so yeah but i'm still seeing increase in my subscribers every day so i thank you guys for that um also if you have any other suggestions of what videos you guys would like me to play as i said before make sure you leave it in the comments below i'm open because i'm open to discussion because i literally don't have any idea besides saint rose and metro exodus which honestly i'm not really excited about and both of both of them i'm not excited about them because i don't know anything about them but maybe it's a good thing that i'm going blind um but yeah any new games i really want to play the new jedi game but i don't think that's gonna do well on my channel and do i want to play it for myself i kind of want to experience it for the first time live on camera but i don't think it will do well um and it's always the case of not doing well but then how you know i don't want i don't know I don't know I'm like in a really bad impasse if that's a word in English because I don't know what to do myself or the channel um, to gain more views and traction because I saw a lot of creators that um, just shot up from doing other content and I just kind of stagnated for a long time and yeah again I just put it down to my personality <laughs> I'm sometimes too extreme too loud and then sometimes too sleepy so i'm not in between that's my problem because um, i even got a comment of somebody being like you make sleepy videos you should he meant it like a compliment okay but i just yeah i didn't think it was a really good compliment for my self-esteem to be honest in terms of youtube because i know you have to be entertaining but i'm not but i'm just rambling on now i just wanted to come here and do this sort of chat because um, yeah, I haven't done an update in a while. Um, as we speak, when this video goes live, there will be a poll on my um, actual community page, which I'll link down below and I'll pin the first comment. It's going to be with the link to my poll because um, I don't think YouTube allows me to do polls in a comment. Oh, only if they change it recently, but I don't think so. So you can vote there which games you would like me to play. And I'll also either you can comment on this video or on the poll section on my community tab what videos you would like for me to um videos games you would like for me to play so i'll do that and yeah i'm gonna go now because i need to finish resident evil and i still am fighting ishin the same whatever his name is you know the last boss in sekiro so i'm still focusing on that one uh, I haven't touched it in about two weeks, so I'm a bit afraid. But yeah, I'll uh, get on Resident Evil and then Sekiro because I have like two hours um, to get that done. But I don't think uh, <laughs> Sekiro is going to happen, but maybe tomorrow. Anyway, this is all for this episode. Episode? <sighs> I'm losing my mind. This is all for this video. I, uh, it's been my birthday, as you can tell by the flowers in the background. Happy birthday, me. 
getting older by the minute, which is fun. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, I shall see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.